what we're going to share in a time of prayer. And uh, as musicians, we were a little confused then. Some of us on one chord, some on the other. And uh, that's the way it is in life, isn't it? Sometimes. You don't really know where you should be or what you should be doing. But one thing we can be uh, confident in, and that's the fact that when we come before the Lord, there's no confusion, because He's here. He speaks to our hearts. He really tells us from time to time what to pray for. He lays it on our hearts. And so, corporately, we come together in this time to uh, bring our concerns before the Lord. And to recognize that in this world, we're continuously in a battle. We're in a battle with Satan. And Satan wants to confuse us. Satan wants us to feel comfortable in our confusion. And that's the way he works on us from time to time. Bondage is a very terrible thing. And when you're bound to the things of this world, when your mind and your thoughts are captivated by the evil one, you get in comfort, but you, you don't really know that you're being bound by evil in the world. And so we're going to share in a time of prayer, we're going to uh, sing uh, the song, out of my bondage, sorrow and light, Jesus I come. And I trust us as we come before him now with recognizing the fact, recognizing the fact that often in the world we're in bondage. And that's true, and that's a terrible thing. And I relate to sometimes I remember as a boy, as a boy going up the front road of where Dave's cabin is. And uh, when when I went on the cliff with his boys and got lost. Imagine lost uh, right there with the ocean on one side and a road on the other. And we went down through the, the woods terrified. Terrified because we knew we were lost as boys. Yet as an adult, I remember several adults who could be in one man said to me one day, he said, it's a terrible thing to be lost and afraid. Well, there came a time in my life when I realized that, that I was lost. And that spoke to me, and, and God spoke to my heart. And he said, you're in the depths of sin. But you know, he reached down his hand. And he lifted me up at that moment because I turned my thoughts and my mind to him. And I realized that there was a different path in life, that there was a different way in life. And so we're bound down by sickness. We're bound down by sorrow. We have a number of people on our prayer list today who are going for tests, we are going for operations, we are recovering from things. It's a type of bondage, isn't it? But God gives us a peace in the midst of all that. He gives us a joy in our hearts that really can't be explained. Verse 2 says, Out of my shameful failure and loss, Jesus, I come into the glorious being of the cross, where we can take our minds off the things of the world, and we can turn our thoughts toward Jesus. There's a peace, and there's a joy. We're going to sing the first, the three verses of that song, and we're going to share it with you.
realize that there are trials and temptations and sickness in this world. But thanks to the cross of Calvary, we can rise above these things. We go through them, but not alone. We experience them, but with you. And Father, we just are so grateful that we are never, never alone. That in the sickness, in the trials, in the temptations, you are with us, you guide us, you bring joy in the midst of sorrow. You bring pain in this world, but you cause us to rise above the pain in your love. Father, we just are so, so grateful. And today there are many people who are in need of your presence, who take comfort from your presence, who glory in your presence. And today, Lord, as we are in this place, I just want to present to you Hilda and Don and Morning and Barbara Anderson, and Henrietta, and many, many more today, suffering from sickness, mourning the loss of loved ones. In all situations, never, never alone. And so, Father, we just realize that you are the great physician. We realize that you are the great comforter. And to whom else can we go? To whom else can we trust? So Lord, we trust you. And we come before you in humility, knowing that you are God who loves to bless. And so, Father, we just accept the blessings that you have in store for us. And Father, as we worship you through song, as we rejoice in your presence, as we seek your favor in these times, we look forward to your word. We look forward to what you have to say to us tonight, so that we might grow in your likeness, so that we might be the witnesses that you want us to be, so we might be the family that you want us to be, the family of God. And Father, we just pray for the remainder of this service. And we ask, Lord, that you will continue to be present through your Holy Spirit, and that that Holy Spirit might minister unto each and every one of us as we continue worshiping together. We're going to share in the uh, final verse of that song says, Out of the fear and dread of the tomb, Jesus, I come into the joy and light of thy home. Jesus, I come to thee. Out of the depths of ruin untold, into the peace of thy shelter home. Ever thy glorious face to me, Jesus. I come to the first four. Two. 